Susan Kikwai, Deputy Governor, Kiricho County. I am presenting a tribute today in a special manner and in a different way because this is the most painful moment in my life. I have never in my wildest dreams imagined that this day would come. To Susan who is lying here, you have been a partner in serving this nation and in particular the people of Kirito County. You have served well and your shoes may never be easily filled. You are one of the best decisions I ever made in my political career. You complimented me professionally and politically. We were a perfect match, hence the reason why Kirito has always emerged top in matters development. Susan, I last spoke to you on Friday evening, just hours before I received the, the last the sad news that you were gone. When I called you, you were upbeat and vibrant, discussing the development of our county as if you are not in a hospital bed. You had all the information in your fingertips and you made the most complex of issues look simple with your charming and infectious laughter. I remember how you passionately pushed for the completion of various projects across the county. You are resolute about connecting our villages with clean tap water and also your famous concept of quote, one word, one product, end of quote, was unmatched. I shall strive to see these dreams come true, not only in the spirit of service, but also in your honor. You stood by me in my lowest moments. I vividly remember how you chose not to celebrate, but instead stood by me when I was impeached in our first term in office. I never felt deserted, and that gave me the courage to face it and come out strong. I thank you, Susan, for such a sacrifice and loyalty. You never betrayed me, nor insubordinated me in any way. We are, we are laying you to rest at a time that not many people can travel or attend funerals. I know you understand this. Many of your family members, colleagues and staff may not be here to tell you goodbye. On their behalf, allow me to pass their overwhelming messages of goodbye and condolences to your family. We have received thousands of tributes and messages of goodwill from all corners of the world. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your overwhelming emotional, moral, and financial support to the family and the county government of Kericho. We will miss your kindness, Susan, your wisdom, your spirit of serving, and above all, your love for the people. We worked together and mingled with the distinguished, as well as those that one would call, would call ordinary. But you never regarded anyone as ordinary. Despite our use, our huge workforce, you knew more than half by name and designation. Your gift and humility to connect with people has been your greatest treasure. This came months after the loss of Gilbert Salpey, brother to Susan. 
the loss of Susan has devastated you. It has broken your healing hearts again, and I'm lost for words to comfort you. Susan has been a strong pillar to your family, and she has been as she has been to my government. She is irreplaceable in our hearts. Stay strong. God gives and God takes. Do not lose hope and question God. Susan is in a better place. Rest in eternal peace in Christ Susan. For now, till we meet again. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here today on behalf of the Deputy Governors Forum to mourn with the family and friends and the people of Kericho County as we lay to rest the Deputy Governor of Kericho, Susan Kikwai. Receive sincere and heartfelt condolences from all Deputy Governors, those who are present, and indeed those who are not here with us today. I affirm our unwavered support to the family and friends of the late Deputy Governor at this very difficult time. And to the constituents of Kericho County, Oleni, Oleni, Sana, Mutio, Mutio, Mutio. Truly, in the late Deputy Governor, I have lost a sister and a friend. The news of her demise came to me and to all of us as Deputy Governors as a profound shock and has been extremely painful to bear with. We have lost a great woman leader. The late Deputy Governor was a passionate person. She was extremely passionate about women in leadership in the country and will be fondly remembered as the first lady Deputy Governor of this county. She was a, a very dedicated public servant, having served severally, uh, like the eulogy is read, in various positions in the country, her passion for investment promotion and her, the Order of Grand Warrior of Kenya, the OGW, from the former uh, president, His Excellency Y. Kibaki. It was the same zeal for entrepreneurship and investments that enabled her to be instrumental in the organizing of the first, first ever Kerito County Investment Com Conference, the Kesiko, which 